Good morning, everybody. Still a little bit of snow left over. I am back here in East Alton, Illinois, back from uh, St. Louis, back at Modified Auto for a couple more days before I hit the road. I will say, okay, a little more time has passed than uh, I probably let on. In fact, I have now been here for over two weeks in the area, but I've been enjoying the company of others and having a little break from the Great River Road, so it's been nice. Uh, but it is time to get back on the road. Uh, anyway, I wear my new sweatshirt with the new logo. I introduced stickers in my last video, which actually aired today as, I, as I'm filming this. And I was reading some of the comments about that. Just wanted to reiterate, you don't have to have a PayPal account. Yes, the link is in the video description for, let me get it, this guy right here. Five bucks shipped internationally, link in the video description. Uh, but you don't have to have a PayPal account. You can use your debit card. There's a little option that says, don't want, don't have PayPal. Use debit card. Also, I was surprising everybody, but since sales are so sluggish, I'm going to let you know that all of the orders that have come in so far and the future ones still include two of the original ones. So you're actually getting two of these and the new one for five bucks internationally. Kind of like a Christmas deal special, I guess you'd call it, but these can make great stocking stuffers. Or if you have a new rig, a new window, you gotta get the new color one, guys, you gotta. And it really helps uh, support the channel, put gas in the tank, pay for the tickets on the road so that I can share that with you. And I really appreciate all the orders so far, but get yours while they still last. And thanks, guys. So for today and tomorrow, I will combine this into one last video here in the area. I'll cover some fun stuff with you. How does that sound? We'll start with the rear of the RV right here. Mm-hmm. I ordered the same exact Titan ramps that I had last time, a maximum capacity of 600 pounds or 350 pounds on my tongue directly right there. Had to put it together, and I still gotta put some LED lights on the end spliced in, but it's there now, which means that no matter where I'm at in the country from now till 2019, when I find the perfect RV bike to put back there, I will be able to have it already. So that's the first step, check. Don't worry, I'm still shopping for a bike at this moment. One other thing about boondocking in the cold, okay, I don't do a whole lot of cold boondocking. I'll show you. My viewers already know that I removed the onboard furnace from my RV because it failed and it was just dead weight. And I don't use it anyway, I use the buddy heater. But even with the buddy heater there, in order to keep this RV from freezing, and I wanna make that point that I am not heating to 70 degrees or even 60 degrees or anything close, but to keep the inside of my RV above freezing temperatures, I am going through 20 pounds of propane, one of these replaceables, every 48 hours. Just to put that into perspective, like I said, not comfort heating, just to keep the inside from freezing, it cost me anywhere between 16 to $20 every two days for more propane, or $300 a month in propane to keep from freezing. Not very good. Now, I am plugged into power here at Modified Auto, uh, but I'm not using it. It's, it's, it's only 15 amp on that end. So I can't even run the coffee maker, the, the microwave, um, or a ceramic heater or anything. So it's just for maintaining the batteries right now. Uh, but you know, just like a house, uh, heating is another expense. I don't like it. That's why I'm gonna go south where I don't have to use a heater and worry about freezing conditions. I don't mind the cold, but I can't do 16 degree lows and then daytimes that barely come above freezing. That just doesn't work for me, so. But in case you're wondering what it's like just to keep from freezing in the winter time when you're boondocking, yeah, it's gonna be three, $400 to stay above 32 degrees all the time. And much, much more if you don't wanna wear thermal bottoms and, and coats and stuff inside and just uh, main, maintain heat. So just thought I'd share that tip with you. Also, my buddy Sean here at Modified Auto and Advanced Wiring Solutions are hosting that comedy event, which is tomorrow. Now this video is really, really live. I should probably point that out. I don't think I've ever been this live. Today is Friday the 16th. Tomorrow is the show on the 17th here at the Riverbend Comedy Series. So I'm gonna see my buddy's show here. I may see another one in 2019. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. And then uh, we're gonna have a little, another little dinner potluck thingy tonight here at the shop too. In fact, let me show you the shop. So here at the end of the day in the shop, we got some Crown Royal there with my apple cider to go later. We're gonna order some pizza and we got the cheese sauce over here getting ready for, for nachos in there. I need to stir that. And once it gets dark here in the garage area, that sheet's gonna go over the garage there 
and then we got the projector here with my thumb drive plugged in to watch Christmas movies on the big screen in here. We got a couple hours left to kill here. I'll show you what uh, Gary did for my RV. Thank you, Gary. I'll show him what's going on here. My train horn system didn't have a kill switch, so Gary put in a power kill switch right there to make so that the compressor won't just turn on because the compressor is just hardwired to the, and fused to the battery. This turns the train horns on, this turns the compressor off, and the reason I need something like that is because I also have a second uh, train horn switch installed right here in case of emergency. If I'm out here and something bad's going on and I'm not running the RV, I can open the valve for the compressor and let the train horn go. But once it gets down to a certain PSI, it used to always kick the compressor back on, which was draining the onboard battery of the RV. So now when I park for the night, kill switch, turn it off so it doesn't care what low PSI the train horn uh, compressor and tank get to, it won't turn it back on and drain the battery. So good to go with that. I'm trying to get modified auto to install train horns here. I think they should. I think they should definitely do that here at this shop. But yeah, I got a few things to get together. Uh, excited to get back on the road, even though this has been a great little stop, little trip and everything. I'll show you what's going on later tonight when the shop closes and we have some fun. Well, the shop's closed. It's not quite Christmas movie time, but I'll show you what we got going on in here. A little wreck it, Ralph. Don, Dana, Why is he here? Speakers. He's just here for and a couch. I'm a big part of the game. Oh, hey. I didn't ask for much of one. Let's go to play. Woo! I'm going to go to the school. All right, good morning. I made it through uh, four Christmas movies last night here at the shop. A lot of fun. Enjoyed hanging out with people, and the food was good. My friends here at the shop, Sean and Jill, got me some gifts. The uh, cheddar, like thick, heavy popcorn that I got when I was on Lincoln Highway. But this is made here. This is a chef's shop in Edwardsville, Illinois. And it's cheddar, just infused popcorn. I've tried all of these flavors. Also some kettle corn. And a new one, pizza flavored popcorn. And oh, it is good. It's really good. And... My favorite cookies, mint Oreos, and some treats for Jax. Thank you so much, Jill and Sean, for the early Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, Christmas gifts. Since Jax and I will be on the road by ourselves for Thanksgiving, and well, for Thanksgiving at least, uh, that was nice. That was really awesome. I hope to be back here ne next year, make a little stop and see everybody, see what's going on. Maybe I'll have some new motorcycle mods that need to be made on my way back up. We shall see. But right now, I'm going to pack up the RV get everything put away, situated, go try to find a boondocking spot near where the venue's at tonight. All right, we are leaving Modified Auto for the year, for 2018 at least. We can head on down to Madison's for the show. It's been a while since I've been behind the wheel, actually. Um, one thing I have changed, this entire video is shot with a multitude of different cameras, by the way, but the one thing that's different is that I am now back to 60 frames a second because, well, I don't know why. I just, I, I might as well use it, okay? So, but using all of my cameras, including the dash cam, everything is 60 frames, which might look a little crisper than normal. And we're here, I'm here, about three hours early before the comedy show starts, but this is the uh, venue for Madison's Tea Room River Band Comedy Series. And so they got a big parking lot back here, that's what I was talking about. I'm gonna boondock here overnight after possibly enjoying some adult barley pops at the show. And then we'll get back to my normally scheduled uh, trip south on the Great River Road where it's possibly a little warmer. Could be, sounds good to me. Brandon Olson, everybody. I, I'm very proud to say I haven't bought a pack of cigarettes in over 18 months. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. You're all very sweet. It turns out buying cartons is way more economical. <laughs> uh, put your hands together for Will O'Donnell, everybody. That's right. Single moms still have demands, but they've come way down. Like... <laughs> You give me like a good divorced mama too, and her demands, right? Her, you know what I'm talking about. Mom's demands are like must have 
a car, <laughs> must have a job, and that's about it, basically. Uh, <laughs> look, I'll pick you up if you don't have a car, all right? Just, uh, <laughs> Does anybody have to poop? I see you guys eating a lot of nachos, a lot of pulled pork. Christy, you good? You look like you were prairie dogging it there. You all right? I'm very, very proud to present to you guys James Johan, everybody. Put your hands together for James Johan. Last Christmas, I went to Tennessee to see my cousin. We had a good time. We smoked some cigarettes at the jail there and everything. And then, uh, but on the way home, like I always do, I get yanked out of line for one of these advanced screenings they do, you know, after 9-11. Now they want to frisk everybody. And I'm not saying it was illegal, but this dude got pretty touchy-feely with me. He ran his hand up my thigh, touched my butt. If there was a mistletoe hanging there, me and that f***er might still be dating. I'm not <laughs> And it pissed me off because about a week later, I found out they don't even have TSA at the Greyhound station. I'm just some <laughs> with a plastic badge. And so that's it. <clears throat> Parking lot's all empty now. All clear, quiet, possibly going to be a peaceful night to sleep, although I'm getting ready to put on a sweater for the night. Uh, I'm feeling strange. I, I feel like I'm really going to miss East Alton area this time. And, you know, I, I know I'll be back. It's just, I don't know, I feel, I feel strange. I went out to uh, Waffle House with uh, Sean and Jill. And you know, it was not, it's the first time I've been to Waffle House in several several months, so that was that was nice, nice little goodbye, waffle, chocolate chip waffle stuff. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I'm really excited about getting down south. I cannot even exaggerate that fact more. So, uh, get some sleep here. Get this uploaded. <laughs> like I said again, uh, I am literally uploading this. I, it is 2 a.m. right now, and I'm hoping this will be live by 7 a.m on Sunday, which is now, it's already Sunday, so, and then I gotta get out of here. So anyways, guys, have a good day. Oh, one real quick thing, I, I'm messing up my schedule. Remember I said Great River Road, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, well, I'm just changing that up. So this goes Sunday, and then I'll be back to an every other day for a couple weeks, so just understand. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then back to Monday after Thanksgiving, so. Anyways, guys, have a good week. Jackson and I will see you again on Tuesday. Okay, bye, guys.